Jean Guyon, a native of Normandy, is a renowned French poet and composer. He is known for his works commemorating the bitter memory of World War II, including the 1937 Nanjing Massacre. His poem Tears of Nanjing has been translated into Chinese and moved many readers in China. But why a French poet and musician who has never been to China wrote about his saddest memory in the history of contemporary China? Guyon started learning music when he was a child. As a young man, he worked briefly in the music industry in Paris and later decided to travel around the world. Fifteen years ago, he gave up his career and returned to his hometown. That's when he decided to write about World War II. Since 1998, Guyon has written over 90 poems about the war and demonstrated his words to the public with the music that he composed. It turned out to be a great success. More than 70,000 people have listened to his poems in various performances. I follow my heart to finish my work and then establish my own time schedule of World War II. It came to me that Nanjing, Shanghai and other regions suffer from the Japanese invasion during the war. It made me realize that the war actually started in 1937 and ended in 1945 instead of starting in 1939. For his writing, Guyong interviewed many people and went through lots of historical records. He discovered that Japan has never officially apologized for the invasion and the war, and the country lacks a proper understanding of the historical period, which has a direct and negative impact on its current relationship with China. At the end of Tears of Nanjing, the poet wrote, a country only grows by asking for forgiveness. If he can show his remaining compassion and take responsibility for his madness in the past, maybe one day in the future, springtime will eventually arrive between the two giants. Un pays se grandit en demandant pardon s'il assume sa folie, fait preuve de compassion. Oui, j'ai un rêve. Yes, I have a dream. If lucky enough, I wish that Tears of Nanjing could be performed in Nanjing with some help of translators and musicians. Apart from Tears of Nanjing, Guyong also created many pieces dedicated to the history of World War II in China and the rest of Asia. Meanwhile, he's looking forward to his future trip to China. <laughs>